I know that one. Gotta remember that one. Where are they? They should have been here half an hour ago. Ugh. Guess it's time to text the AP nerds. I'm so tired. Hmm. Gotta stay awake. I have to finish studying. Hmm. We gather this morning at the Morgel Funeral Home to celebrate the life and death of Ivan Illich. Oh, Ivan. He was such a great friend. So protective. Just like my father. In fact, everyone in town had this image of my father standing in front of me in the doorway. So protective. What a great guy. That's just like my John. Oh my goodness. He d we rented this little house on this island and he's taking so good care of me. My dear John, taking care of me while I'm ill. My goodness. He's so, such a nice man. So if you know the thing about Ivan, he started to change. And you know what? I killed him. I realize now that the relationships of few that I had are more important than the money and materials that were in my life. I realize this now as I lay dying. I haven't come closer. I could hardly see your face without my glasses. Stop it, Ivan. Stop changing on me. You know I hate that. Do not stop for death, Ivan. Come, rest. Close your eyes. My work here is complete. I heard you ladies speaking of change. You know what else needs to change? Ireland. We want some traditions are worth of preserving. That's why I brought the century quilt to remind us of Ivan's past. Well, you know what? I hate change. Y'all, I believe I need a minute to myself. Please excuse me. I wonder if you knew any British men. I love British men. James, let's go find us some. Oh, Ivan, I do wear a little bell. Struck my face one last time, Ivan. Oh, my dear friend, why? Why do you have to die? Why? Why, I could have saved you. I should have died. Why? God, oh my God. God, God, why would you take this poor, innocent man? I should have died. I'm nothing. I'm nothing, God. I have nothing. He had a house. He had a family. 
He had wealth, he had everything, and what am I? I'm just a drunkard. Well, at least you're in a better place now. I'll drink to that. Hello, everybody! From the Blackberry Pie! Hello, good looking. Care for a piece of my Blackberry Pie? Pie? At this time, the man's dead. I can't have any pie, I don't deserve any, I'm not worthy enough either, and I'd rather, I'd rather starve to death and join Ivan. <sighs> not on this polycock. Have some soma, it will cheer you right up, dearie. Soma? What is soma? Oh, delicious soma. It'll make everybody happy. Come with me, dearie. I'll show you. This room reminds me of a great drifting ship, and I find myself strangely at the helm. Poor Ivan! Did your little heart start beating? Did the ghosts find you as well? Miss Jessel, Peter Quint. I know they found you, Ivan! Don't lie to me! Oh God, Miss Jessel, she's found me again! Second time this month, take Ivan first! Am I crazy? I could have sworn she was there. You saw her, didn't you, Ivan? Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt far and resolve itself into a dew. Another funeral? Why does this keep happening to me? Well, look at this watch. It could have been worth thousands of dollars. But he could have been worth more. So beatific is the radiant image of that angelic man. Hands off the body, dear. There's still valuables on him. To be, or not to be, obviously not to be, that is not the question for Ivan. So, do you come here often? Actually, I do. This is the second time this month. Death tends to follow me. Darling, that's not how you do it at all. Let me show you how it's done. Leonard Crown. Care to go to the feeling? And perhaps afterward we can go to my apartment. They tell me I'm pretty nomadic. But don't worry, I have my Malthusian belt on. Oh my! <sighs> perhaps later then. So you're from Denmark? Yes. Do you have any children? Well, actually I... It's the ghost of my father! Ghost? Hmm. Maybe if I pretend to see the ghost, he'll actually be interested. You're not my father! Why have you summoned me here? My death was an unnatural one. Someone here at this funeral has murdered me. Who is it? Beware the rose. <laughs> Is this a 
second time this month this has happened to me. Welcome to the funeral dinner of Ivan Illich. We're here to celebrate the long life and untimely death of such a great man. I'd like to start off dinner by reading a poem, Because I Could Not Stop for Death, by Emily Dickinson. Classic. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves in immortality. Since then, tis centuries, and yet each feels shorter than the day. I first surmised the horses' heads were toward eternity. Hello, Jane. <laughs> Do you care to join us? You, mi you missed the best part. Please take a seat. Dearest Sydney, why are you so sad? Because of life loss. I once had a love, too. His name was Michael Furry. I can see him so plainly, such eyes as he had, such big dark eyes, and his expression, that expression. What happened to him? He died when he was 17. How? I think he died for me. I wish I could die for Lucy. Is she your love? Yes, she was the last dream of my soul. She was the golden light in my life. She made me want to change and be a better person. I think I can help lighten the mood a bit. I'll show y'all how I entertain people at my hotel, the Equatorial, by doing the King Camp. You really ought to try some soma. It'll cheer you right up. Lucy is my happiness. You must eat something. How about these? You know what they say about fruit. That it's healthy for you. Well, there is that, but also that nothing else comes closer to the fear of human flesh. Well, you look like you have, Mike. Well, I am the Prince of Denmark. The Prince of Denmark would like to come visit my hotel in South Africa. No, he's going to come with me to Bly. Excuse me, he's not even your type, honey. Well, usually I like little boys with homosexual tendencies, but this is good enough. I was at the neighbors. What's it to you? What were you doing there? Well, I was feeding that cat. That took a while, didn't it? Yes, ma'am, it did. Jane, would you look at that delectable pattern on Rachel's yellow dress? There's a woman in that dress. Very keen observation, Jane. There is a woman in that dress. What's wrong with that one? Just getting my fork. Last time I visited Michael's grave, there was snow over all the living and the dead. Kind of like now. It's a blizzard outside. Oh, it's so dreadful to lose love. I wish my husband was more passionate. I wish I wasn't stuck in the old ways of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. So, who do you think the killer is? Never mind that. You slay me. Oh my god, you harlot. I'm serious. There are people dying. 
God, just take me now! Yes, please! You go bellied scut! Get thee to an anime! I have to discover the identity of this murderer. Who do you think did it? I'm beginning to suspect the crazy woman, because she just creeps around and you never know where she's at. A rat! I'm slain! What has that done? I know not. Is it the crazy woman? Thou wretched intruding strumpet! Fare thee well. I am the resurrection and life, saith the Lord. Whoever believeth in me shall have eternal life. Goodbye, Lenio. We have more pressing debts to put on this table, we have to move him. And besides, it's not like anyone really liked. He didn't have any relationships anyways. There you go. Safe and Good side. This death. I can't handle it. I could have saved her. I could have taken her place. I need a drink. Oh my gosh. No more. No more alcohol. You need to sober up and you need to help me find this man. So do you have a bullet for him? Well, you see, I have my eye on Prince Hamlet, but he's proving a little difficult to persuade. Oh honey, I think you just need to go after that full force, you know? You just gotta get right in there. I have this boyfriend at home. Oh child, he is just wonderful. He treats me so well and he just never leaves. Every single night he is there for me. Every night. Well how do you do it? See. I think I lack a lot of confidence. Well, I think you need to start with a drink of wine over there. Ease your nerves a bit. I think it will. Thanks, Emily. I need a little liquid courage. That seems a bit queer. Oh, Hamlet. Oh, why? I'm murdered. Avenge me, Hamlet! Death really does follow me. I have to figure out who this murderer is right now. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He who believeth in me shall have eternal life. Forgive my sins. Greta is dead, Lenina is dead, Carton is dead, the governess is dead. Who could it be? Could it be the crazy woman? The old hag? Maybe the stuck-up girl? I have no idea who it could be. What does beware the rose mean? It's you. I had to be the 
crazy woman. Those roses on your sweater. It was you. By God, it was. Lucy Hamlet, there's been a lot of changing around here. I don't like that. You see, I knew right from reading that Greta character. Yeah, she wanted to change Ireland. That's not okay with me. That Sydney guy, he thought he could be a religious man, give up his drinking habit. That's not okay with me. And that governess. Oh, she was getting way too loose. That's not okay with me. Die, you old crone! But a flesh wound. But you see, my tip is poisoned. I will not die in vain. I'm changing. There's a woman in that chair. Oh my god, what just happened? This is the second time this month, what's wrong with people? Oh god, just someone call Jerry Cruncher. We got another funeral coming in. A fellow named Gatsby. And thanks for not showing up to my house last night, guys. Not our problem you don't have Facebook. That's where we let everyone know about the study group. Take care of yourself. Hey, Eric. Looking good today. The only way I'd ever date you is if I was drunk. <laughs> Miss Rothstadt, I need a drink. Of water. Of water. That's nice, Eric. You smell good. Oh my gosh, guys, look at my new perfume. It's called Poison by Emily Blunt. Normally I hate change, but this stuff smells really good. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, I had the weirdest dream last night. 
after I fell asleep waiting for you. All, all the characters from all the books we read and the stories were there and were at Ivan Illich's funeral. And the characters kind of reminded me of you guys. To be, why not to be? Man, I hope that's on the exam. I loved Hamlet. Oh, that was beautiful, John. Oh my goodness, it was real, wasn't it? Polina, well, you need more sleep. Hey, Libby, can I borrow a pen? Yeah, there's one right here. You can have it. Thanks. Hey, Polina. I like your yellow shirt. Got you, Laquisha.